Preparing for tactical movement will often require that a squad member convert azimuths. The azimuths computed may need to be in degrees or in mils. Accuracy is of the utmost importance. Using a 1 to 50,000 scale military map, a declination diagram, a pencil, paper, a magnetic azimuth, and a grid azimuth, this video will focus on how to convert in degrees and mils without error. Magnetic azimuth to grid azimuth, grid azimuth to magnetic azimuth, and azimuth into back azimuth. Grid north refers to the northern direction on a map running along the north-south grid lines of a map. Magnetic north is the northern pole of the Earth's magnetic field. The location of magnetic north drifts, changing slightly over time due to variations in the flow of molten iron in the Earth's outer core. It is found using a compass. The magnetized pointer, or compass needle, points toward magnetic north. Note, when using the compass, keep metal objects like ID tags away from the magnetized compass needle so the needle's attraction to metal does not present an inaccurate reading of magnetic north's actual location. True north is measured from a soldier's position in the northern direction, along the Earth's surface toward the geographic north pole where longitude lines converge. Depending on a soldier's physical location on Earth, the difference between true north and magnetic north will change. Convert a magnetic azimuth to a grid azimuth. To convert a magnetic azimuth to a grid azimuth, you first need to locate the map's declination diagram and the grid magnetic, or GM, angle. The declination diagram, found at the bottom edge of the map, shows both a graphic picture and a written summary of the GM angle. The GM angle is the angle difference between grid north and magnetic north. Magnetic declination changes over time and with location. The written summary includes the year the mapmaker measured the GM angle and the amount of that angle in both degrees and mils. In this example, the grid magnetic or GM angle found in the declination diagram is 9.5 degrees or 170 mils. Next determine whether the GM angle is easterly or westerly. Refer to the map's declination diagram. Look at the position of the GM angle relative to the line labeled grid north. The GM angle is westerly when the GM angle is west of grid north. The GM angle is easterly when the GM angle is east of grid north. This example's declination diagram indicates the GM angle is easterly. Use the mathematic formula to convert a magnetic azimuth to a grid azimuth. In this example, our compass reads a magnetic azimuth of 190 degrees. Add an easterly GM angle to the given magnetic azimuth to convert to a grid azimuth. Subtract a westerly GM angle from the given magnetic azimuth to convert to a grid azimuth. 190 degrees is the given magnetic azimuth for this next example. To convert the magnetic azimuth to a grid azimuth, we examine the map's declination diagram. The declination diagram indicates the GM angle is 9.5 degrees and easterly. With an easterly GM angle, you know to add the 9.5 degree easterly GM angle to the given magnetic azimuth, 190 degrees, resulting in a 199.5 degree grid azimuth. Convert a grid azimuth to a magnetic azimuth. As in the previous example, first locate the GM angle. Next, determine whether the GM angle is easterly or westerly. Looking at the declination diagram, Take note of the GM angle relative to the line labeled grid north. This example's declination diagram indicates the GM angle is easterly. Now, we're going to use the mathematic formula to convert a grid azimuth to a magnetic azimuth. Subtract an easterly GM angle from the original grid azimuth to convert to a magnetic azimuth. Add a westerly GM angle to the original grid azimuth to convert to a magnetic azimuth. In this example, the declination diagram on the map indicates the GM angle is 9.5 degrees. Because the GM angle is easterly, we will subtract to convert to a magnetic azimuth. We are starting with a grid azimuth of 199.5 degrees. Subtract the 9.5 degree easterly GM angle 
from the 199.5 degree grid azimuth. This results in a 190 degree magnetic azimuth. While converting azimuths to back azimuths, extreme care should be exercised adding or subtracting the 180 degrees. A simple mathematical mistake of one degree could be disastrous in the field. You and your squad could move to the wrong location or move in the wrong direction. If the magnetic azimuth to convert is between 0 and 179 degrees, add 180 degrees to get the back azimuth. If the azimuth is between 180 and 360 degrees, subtract 180. As an example, with a given magnetic azimuth of 190 degrees, which is more than 180 degrees, to find the back azimuth, subtract 180 degrees. The back azimuth in this example is 10 degrees. If the magnetic azimuth to convert is between 0 and 3199 mils, you add 3200 mils to get the back azimuth. Between 3200 and 6400 mils, subtract 3200. In this example, use 1150 mils. Since 1150 mils is less than 3200 mils, add 3200 mils to convert the back azimuth. Tactical success relies on a squad strategic, timely, and accurate movement from location to location. Land navigation is an essential skill that empowers you and your squad to accomplish your missions.